Hey everyone, we're back at SeaWorld. We're here for another Orca Stadium construction update and have a little fun, so let's go. Welcome aboard the SeaWorld Sky Tower. For the comfort and safety of everyone, we ask that you please remain seated at all times. Thank you. Welcome aboard the SeaWorld Sky Tower. As you take your ride up to a height of 300 feet, we thought it would be helpful to share some SeaWorld tips that might make your day even more enjoyable. For your own safety, please stay in your seats for the entire ride and no smoking, please. Did you know that SeaWorld has rescued and rehabilitated more than 39,000 animals? None of this would be possible without the continued support of our partner agencies, park guests like you, as well as people across the globe taking action to protect these amazing animals and their habitats. Our teams are on call 24-7, 365 days a year, partnering with multiple government agencies, conservationists, zoological facilities, and others to rescue and help animals in need of our care, always with the goal of rehabilitating them and returning them to the wild. As the cabin rotates, keep an eye open for a lush, tropical oasis right across the street from SeaWorld. That's Discovery Cove where you can snorkel with rays and exotic fish, relax on a beautiful beach, and even swim alongside dolphins. To the east, also across the street from SeaWorld, you'll find Aquatica. Our water park hosts the most water slides in Orlando. This amazing park has been voted the number one outdoor water park in the USA. Visit the information counter today to see how you can experience Discovery Cove and Aquatica. We are on a mission to protect marine life and the oceans they call home. Your visit is a chance for you to play a part in protecting our planet. Each ticket and each experience helps fund wildlife rescues and rehabilitation efforts, habitat protections, and ocean health emissions. Our mission is to see it here and save it all. Yeah, 
Some new murals coming in. By the way, Mardi Gras is going on on select days. On food festival days, by the way. We got a stage right here. There's also a DJ and a little parade comes right through here. Here also marks, or this month marks, five years of Sesame Street Land here at SeaWorld. Like how they're laying the sun, he's uh, decorated. And we also have a DJ. That is a birthday parade.
Okay, let's see if they didn't get to the murals on this side yet. I'm sure to see where I would love to get this open again for spring, but I don't know if it's going to be that soon or not. Could there will be in summer? I have no idea as to where it's not released anything. So, I'm not sure when Orca Stadium will reopen. Still got a long way to go, so and we're only midway through February, so a little bit longer to go. I'm guessing. Again, it's total guesswork. But in the meantime, though, you do have workout presentations, so that's happening pretty much throughout the day. like Cloister Coffee Company is coming along. Last time we were here, we didn't even see a structure up, but now there is a structure, so it's moving right along. <laughs> so I got a giant crane in place. There's no presentation going on, but it looks like we got three of the whales in here currently. So, and I see a couple of the trainers here.
Okay, that's what I'm do it, but we will be back as the Seven Seas Food Festival is underway. Only on from Thursdays to Sunday until May 19th, but we will be back because there's definitely a lot of food items we want to try. So we'll be back for the food festival at another time. So until then, we'll see you next time. Bye now.